CNN. The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN, 10 a.m. Eastern Time, Monday morning. We're 30 minutes into the trading day, and we have markets making a run to positive prices. You got the S&P right now up about six points, trading at 37.16, but you're up more than a full percent from where you were overnight, down at about 36.70 almost on a couple occasions, 6 a.m. this morning, as well as about 2.20. Growth stocks, NASDAQ 100, you're up by 1.2 percent, we'll call it, 11,517. We were as low as 11,229, so you're adding almost 300 points from the lows of Friday. The Dow, the weakest index right now, we make a new low, challenging the recent lows. You take a look at the Dow just for some context here. On a weekly, there's your weekly. We put it back to a daily. You got below the June lows in the Dow, the only major index to do that. The Russell right now bumping up against that level as well, but the Russell positive by 10. Crude catching a little bit in the last uh, hour or two. We were in the 77s. We're approaching $80 crude at 79.58. Gold contract negative by $2 right now. You see the spikes in gold. We had some action in currencies, man. I'm going to pull that up in a moment overnight. And the 10-year, we're seeing lower price and higher yield coming at you folks, continuing. We're talking about a 10-year yield right now, 3.78%, 3.775, 3.78%. Seems like maybe 4% might be in the cards eventually for the 10-year. The 30-year off a full point and two ticks. We jump over to the VIX. Pairing some of those gains, but we were approaching 33 in the overnight session uh, as you had markets. Like I said, more than 1% lower from where we're at right now. Let's jump over to the dollar index. There's a spike for you up to 114 and change. We're still elevated slightly from where we closed out Friday action in terms of the dollar. We put that back on a daily basis, right? I was talking about this during my program. Coming right into uh, kind of that channel line to the upper portion of where the dollar's been bouncing around at 113.26. And we got to talk about the pound, man. The pound, you talk about a collapse, man. Now, the pound got below 104. I think they're low. Let's put it on a five minute so you can really see the acceleration. There's the uh, dislocation almost in the Evening session last night at 9 o'clock, the pound. Disregard that tail. That's uh, erroneous, I think. Uh, I think the real low is about 103, but you're talking about a five-penny move in the pound U.S. dollar uh, crisis going on for England over there with inflation rising, more tax cuts, and now the Bank of England might have to try and save things with some surprise hikes is the conversation today. Stay tuned, folks. Basil did his program at 8 o'clock, so that's coming out right now. He just did it at 8 in the morning. Then, of course, we got Steve Rhodes, Fast Market, Larry Pesavento, Dave White, Tom O'Brien this afternoon. Have a great Monday, everybody.